was right. Y equals mx plus b is the formula for a line. The y represents the y axis on a graph, the m is the slope of the line, the x is the x axis, and the b is the y intercept, where the line will intersect with the y axis. Now let's talk about parallel and perpendicular. This is a parallel line. Parallel lines are lines that will never cross each other's path. And this is a perpendicular line. They are lines that will cross each other. Is this parallel? Never touch. Is this parallel? Oh, no, fuck. Parallel. Are you sure? I'm deeply sorry. Uh, teacher, so oh. I think we're doing something wrong. Our lines are touching. Now, from a regular line, how do you find a parallel line? Well, all you have to do is change the b, the y-intercept, to a different number. It could be either negative or positive. It doesn't matter. So if you have y equals 3x minus 5, you could change it to something like y equals 3x plus 2. Or y equals 4 seventh x plus 9. You could change it to y equals 4 seventh x plus 3. Now how do you find a perpendicular line? Well, it's very similar to finding parallel lines. You, just like parallel lines, you would change the b, the y-intercept, to a different number. Negative and positive doesn't matter. But unlike perpendicular lines, you also have to make the m, the slope, its negative reciprocal. The negative reciprocal is the reciprocal of a number, just you make the numerator negative. So y equals 3x minus 5 could change to something like y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. y equals 4 seventh plus 9 could change to something like y equals negative 7 fourth plus 3. However, if your m is already negative, when you find the negative reciprocal, you make it positive. So y equals negative 5x plus 7 would change to y equals 1 fifth minus 1. Now that we learned about parallel and perpendicular lines and how to find them, who knows what happens when a parallel or perpendicular line has to go through a certain point on a graph? Anyone? My feet are up to show a general disregard for authority. <laughs> There's fluoride on my teeth. It really is. Hi. No, but like I'm actually serious. God damn it, sit down! Clearly nobody knows, so I'll teach you. Let's find the equation of a line parallel to y equals 6x minus 1 that goes through point 1, 2. So first, you would write y equals 6x minus b. Because you're trying to find the b, it is unknown. Then, you would plug in the point into the line equation. The 1 is the x and the 2 is the y. So you plug it in to the x and the y spots. So it would be 2 equals 6 times 1 minus b. Multiply 6 and 1 and you would have 2 equals 6 minus b. Subtract 6 from both sides and you would get negative 4 equals negative b. Then you could divide to, by negative 1 to make the entire thing positive, but it's not absolutely necessary. So b would equal 4. So your parallel line would be y equals 6x plus 4. Okay, so what about parallel lines? Well, let's find an equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 6x minus 1 that goes through point 1, 2. So first, because it's a perpendicular line, we need to make the m its negative reciprocal. So the m would be negative 1, 6. Then, just like for parallel lines, you plug in the points into the equation. So, it will be 2 equals negative 1 6 times 1 plus b. Since b is what we're trying to find here, it is the unknown, so it needs a variable. Then again, like parallel lines, you solve it like an algebraic equation. So, you multiply negative 1 6 by 1, and you will get 2 equals negative 1 6 plus b. Then, you would add 1 6 to both sides and you get 2 and 1 6 equals b. And then you simplify that fraction and you make it 13 6 equals b. So the new parallel equation 
perpendicular equation, sorry, would be y equals negative 1 6 plus 13 6. So what happens when we need to find a line when we are given the y-intercept, the b? Well, for parallel lines, to find one, you only need to change the b. So it's very easy. So let's find the equation of a line parallel to y equals 8x minus 7 with the y-intercept of 4. So our new parallel line would just be y equals 8x plus 4. Now, find the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 8x minus 7 with the y-intercept of negative 1. Well, for perpendicular lines, since we need to do the negative reciprocal, it would be y equals negative 1 8 minus 1 because we, we also changed the b. Oh. Oh. And that, everyone, are parallel and perpendicular lines. Thanks for watching! You too? It's okay. All you have to do is let the feeling course through you, and then you will know that math really is the world. Oh I appreciate you too. Good morning, and welcome to my juvenile delinquent class. We're so okay. <laughs> Don't label me!